Good morning everyone to our next video of the lesson motion. In this chapter, now we are going to talk about graphical representation of motion. That means how can we describe the motion of an object through a graph? It becomes really convenient to understand and even with the help of a graph. Suppose uh, you are given an event like uh, you are, okay fine, let's start our topic. Distance time graph. First, we will, there are two different types of graph which we are going to talk about in this chapter. First is distance time graph and another is velocity time graph. In this video, first of all, we will talk about distance time graph. First case, let us draw a graph first. Let us take our time in second, time in second along x-axis. And let us take our distance along, that is in meter, along y-axis. So let me give you an example, children. Suppose a body, this is 0, this is 5 second. Let me take a time interval, 10, 15, 20, 25, anything it can be. You know how to draw, draw a graph. It is up to you how you do it. I have taken these five, these time intervals because this, these are easy to understand. So, and suppose this is 10, this is 20, this is 30, this is 40. Then, uh, suppose you have gone somewhere from your house and you have stopped there. And from your house to that place, you have covered a distance of, suppose, 20. Now you are already standing there at a distance of 20 meters. You are not move, uh, going anywhere else. You are standing at that particular point. Now you are standing, you are not making a motion directly. Let us calculate from that event. Not the before, not the after. After the way calculate, but not the before. Suppose you are standing at this place. This is after passing of 5 seconds, still you are at 20 meters. After the passage of 10, 10 seconds, you are still at 20 meters. Then again, 15, after the passage of 15 seconds, you are still at the same place. Let me join these dots. When I join, I get such type of graph. Here, this line is parallel to the x-axis. Here, the height of the distance graph, distance time graph is not changing. It is same. After the passage of time also, the object is still at 20 meter only. It is not going anywhere at all. That means that it shows the body is at rest. When the object is not making any motion, that means the point at which it was earlier. It is on that point only after the passage of time. That means the object is at rest. It is not changing its place. It, its distance is after the passage of 5 seconds, its distance is 20 meter. After the passage of 10 seconds, distance is 20 meter. After the passage of 15 also, it's Time, oh, that means it is at the distance of 20 meter. It means the height of the distance time graph is not changing. If the height of the distance time graph is not changing, that means the object is at that particular place all the time. That particular place means object is not moving. If it is not moving, that means it is at rest. I hope so. It's very simple. I hope it is clear to you. Now let us switch over to our when the next graph. That is when the body is in uniform motion. As you all know the definition of uniform motion. When an object or a body covers equal distance in equal interval of time, then the object is said to be in uniform motion. So let us draw or draw a graph for an object or a body when it is in uniform motion. Same our time in second, our distance in meter. This is our 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 
suppose the earlier the body was at rest. After passage of 5 seconds, it has covered a distance of 10 meter. After a passage of 10 seconds, now it is at this place, 20. After 15 seconds, it is at this place, that is 30. After 20, it is at this place, that is 40. When I join, I get a straight line. This straight line represents the uniform motion. Because children, you see, it's very clear from the graph that object, this is 5 seconds. This time interval is also 5, 5. 5 and 5. We have equal time interval all the time. Object has taken equal time in traveling 0 to 10, that is 10. 10 to 20, 10. 20 to 30 is again 10. 30 to 40, again 10. 40 to 50, again 10. It means the object has taken or covered equal distance that is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 equal distance in equal interval of time that is 5, 5, 5, 5 and 5. So this straight line shows the object is in uniform motion. Now when the body is in non-uniform motion that means when the body is covering unequal distance in equal interval of time. So let us draw the graph for such type of body which is covering unequal distance in equal intervals of time. So let us draw the graph for this too. This is a time in second. This is a distance in meter. So this is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Suppose so this is 10, this is 20, this is 30 and this is 40. Suppose first of all the body is at rest. Then after 5 seconds it has covered a distance of 10. Then after 10 it has covered a distance of 20. After 15, it has covered a distance of 25. After 3. After 20, it has covered a distance of again 20. It has covered a distance of 20. So let me draw this graph and I will show you how it goes. First of all, the time interval is 5, 5 to 10, again 5, 10 to 15, again 5, 15 to 20. All the time, the time interval is equal. But here, let's see the distance. First, body had covered 10. 10. Then, body had covered 10 more. Then, body had covered only 5. Then, body again came back to 15. See, now it has come from 25 to 15. This is 10. See the difference children. How the graph is moving. Body is covering unequal distance in equal intervals of time. Such type of motion is known as non-uniform motion. The graph other than a straight line. If in the graph you get other than a straight line, this line is known as straight line. Other than this shape, if you get any shape, that will be your non-uniform motion. You can get the shape like this also. Anything, any shape it can be. It can be any shape. So if the distance time graph gives you other than straight line any shape that means the object is in non-uniform motion. Children, so it's very easy to calculate the speed of an object through distance time graph. 
Now we are going to use these graphs to find out our speed. If we are not given the data written in the form of a statement, we are given through the graph we want to learn anything. Then how are we going to calculate our speed? Let's see the method. Suppose we want to find out the speed of the object between this time interval and this time interval. Suppose I give it a name as A and B. I ask you to calculate the speed of the object between the time interval A and B. A and B, when the object was between the time interval that is 15 and 20, what was the speed of the object? We know that speed is equal to distance upon time. So in this case, What I am going to do, I am going to do a construction here. See, this way I am going to do a construction. Now, distance A to B. Let me find out. This B point is corresponding to this distance 40. This A is in correspondence to point 30. Now, I got the structure like this. So, distance upon time will give me the speed. Let me give it a name as I have given two points as B and A. B is equal to 40, A is equal to 30. Let me give the name to these time intervals. Let me give it a name as S2 and this point as S1. So, S2 is equal to 20. S1 is equal to 15. Now, how will I calculate my speed? I will calculate speed is equal to distance upon time. So, what is the distance in this case from B to A? B to A, it has covered a distance. This is a formula, children. Keep in mind. B or, uh, okay, I will give it as B to D1 as I have given A to A1 D2 minus D1 upon S2 minus S1 D2 in this case is 40 D1 is 30 S2 is 20 minus 15 that is 10 upon 5 5 under 5 10. that is 2 meter per second this is how we calculate the speed from a distance time graph. So the next time we will talk about velocity time graph. That's all for today's class.